Francis Brennan returns to Polofuka House to see if they've continued to implement his advice at your service revisited at 7 tonight. Now, Shortland Street. Does Joey Henderson work here? Yes, he does. She's not working. I'm his mum. I knew you worked at Shortland Street Hospital, so I went there. I thought I'd missed you for the day, but, well, when this nice young man said he shared a house with you, I thought, there you go. So what was it you wanted to see me about? I'm your sister Lauren. She's graduating next week, Bachelor of Architecture. Well, we thought you might like to come to the ceremony. Why would I? You and Lauren couldn't be bothered coming to my graduation. Look, I'm trying to put the past in the past here, Joey. I, I know we haven't been close, but well, maybe if you come to Lauren's thing next week, we can start making things different. No, thank you. Why not? You don't want me there. Lauren definitely doesn't want me there, so... What's this little visit really about? Why don't I take you out to dinner someplace, and we can talk about everything? Oh, we could just get out your way. No, don't let her drive you out of the house. I'm going for a shower. Oh, that went well. Put the kettle on. Uh, tea or coffee? Uh, look, no, there's no need for a fuss. Yes, there is. Now, sit down and make yourself comfortable. Oh, thank you. Okay, folks, staff feedback and suggestions. I'd like an appraisal, please. Uh, you've already filled it out the time wasters, though, right? <laughs> Who am I to judge what you consider valuable, Craig? I did offer to do it, but Callum said no. So I'd like a one- or two-page report detailing which suggestions you like and why. A report? Yeah, it won't take long. Look, opportunities for feedback have been seriously lacking in this place. Chris may not think it's important, but it is. Chris has had many years' experience as head of this hospital. It might be best to follow his protocols rather than attempting to undermine him. Libby, this is a DHB directive. Chris should have implemented this a long time ago. Now, if you have an issue, I suggest you take it up with the DHB, although I am inclined to think they won't take advice from a secretary. Now, next on the agenda, car parking once again. This reminds me of when Mummy used to drop me off at holiday camp. I used to cry when she went to leave and cling to her linen slacks. I must not to do that today. I'm not going to be fine. This is definitely one of the better places. Yeah, I might even have many bars in the rooms. Please don't make those kind of jokes in front of the staff. Well, it's all quite glamorous, really. Every writer needs to have the rehab chapter in his biography, right? Guy Warner, that's me. Love you. See you on the other side, huh? First officer full search. Be my guest. One of the staff will do. First door on the right, you can get your gear off in there. He just wasn't expecting me. I should have phoned. Well, he's been a bit stressed lately. He's had all this paperwork that he's had to do to move up a level in nursing. Yeah, but he got it. He found out today. Really? Oh, that's a relief. Maybe things will be a bit less tense around here. <laughs> oh, and there's a med school exam. Still got a temper on him, huh? Oh, sometimes. And what about girlfriends? Anyone special in his life? Mm, there was Morgan for a moment, till the fuss. The fuss? It's nothing. So obviously you and Jay haven't spoken for a while. No, but I'm trying to rectify that now. Get to know him again. So no girlfriend at the moment? <laughs> no. Last I heard he was seeing someone in Port Moresby. It was quite serious. But well, she obviously didn't come back here with him. No, he's never mentioned it. Really? What about Emma? High school sweethearts. It lasted quite a few years. Well, I'm surprised he's not with anyone at the moment. Well, it's because it's always the same story, isn't it? I mean, he never gets past first or second date with a girl. 
Sometimes he doesn't even get that far. He just does not have a lot of luck with the ladies. Maybe if he wasn't so focused on work. Oh, well, I'm pleased to hear things are going well for him there. It takes a special kind of person to be a nurse, doesn't it? Such a caring, people-oriented profession. I guess. Make sure you have a decent dinner tonight. Hey? We are in for a biggie. Yeah, so what's the plan? Okay, a few drinks across the road, and then we're going to meet an old friend of mine at a club opening. Invite only, but she's going to sneak us in, and then off into the night, whatever we feel like doing. Okay. And no parking, because I need you there at 5am to hold my hair back when I'm puking in the gutter. Hey? Kidding! Yeah, I knew that. We are going to have a good night, right? Oh, yeah, I can hardly wait. <laughs> Right, I'd like everyone to welcome a newbie. Hello, Guy. Hi. And welcome back to a not-so-newbie. Hello again, Eve. Hi. Maybe you'll actually get to graduate this time. Quiet, Theo. I have a poem to read out today. Oh, not a poem. There's never any excuse for poetry. Well, it's true. If anything's going to drive me to drugs. No, must have left it at the office. Back in a moment. Word of advice. If you want to graduate, stay away from that one. It's her third time in and it still looks like she's not going to take it seriously. Thanks for the advice. Still here? Yeah, we thought your mum needed a cuppa. Right, uh, time I went and checked on things at work. I'll shout you a drink. Great. Oh, and how about if I take you out to dinner at Karen's work? Uh, no, I'm not hungry right now, but I'm going out later, so if you want to talk, then. Oh, yes. Okay. Um, nice to meet you, boys. Yeah, likewise. So, um, what were you guys all talking about? Your promotion. Well done. It's not a promotion. I passed my level three competencies. Well, that, it's excellent. Not as excellent as Lauren, though. A bachelor of blah, blah, whatever. Is that why you came here? To brag about your favourite kid? The one you took with you? That's not how it was, Joey. That's exactly how it was. Hey, you could have taken us both when you left, but you chose her. Look, I wanted to keep in contact, but your Nan, she just wouldn't let me. Oh, no, don't, don't blame your bad parenting on Nan, because she is the only one who ever cared about me. Look, I'm not saying a word against her. I mean, she did a good job in raising you, Joey. I I'm sorry I didn't get to tell her that before she passed away. She knew. And she'd be proud of you. And proud of everything that you've achieved. And, and I want to be too. I, I want to hear all about it. Your work, your job, what you do. I'm interested, Joey. Truly. All right, do you want a drink or something? A wine, if we've got some? A wine would be lovely. Right. Which we start the day you stop being my mum or later?